if you visit YouTube and try it watching a video, it's usually a single user operating the controls on YouTube video player. So you click the play button and the video starts playing. That is something which is very simple and uh, we've been through certain content that talks about how such streaming is brought about. In content delivery networks, uh, collaboration is something that is always encouraged and there are a myriad of uh, services and uh, applications where collaboration uh, is required. In this module, we'll talk about uh, media playback or media streaming on uh, CDNs. Now, how the CDNs are going to offer because CDN are supposed to provide uh, the underlying infrastructure regardless of the applications which are using those. But here we shall see that an awareness or cognizance is required for achieving collaborative media streaming. So we'll talk about um, all these issues in this module. Uh, we know that CDNs do provide a very efficient solution to provide media streaming. Uh, TV broadcast, video on demand like watching movie over Netflix or uh, uh, Amazon Prime is something that we are all familiar with. Um, however, the modern multimedia applications even go a, st a stage further and the applications themselves sometimes create the content, modify and manage it at their own. So this means that amongst multiple entities, the content is being created in a distributed manner. And then this content is placed at appropriate locations. This now means that some kind of collaborative playback is required, where the content is being played or uh, streamed by multiple users who need to have some kind of unison or coordination. Formally, what is a collaborative playback? It is actually an enablement infrastructure that is created or realized to explicitly form a synchronous group of users uh, who all can select, watch, and cooperatively control a remote uh, media uh, playback file. This sounds uh, interesting, but immediately certain challenges would come into mind. Let's get into some more detail. So the collaborative playback session of uh, uh, some multimedia streaming content uh, is going to be synchronous synchronously transmitted to all the members. It means, um, theoretically speaking, they all would be on the same frame uh, uh, because the delivery uh, is going to be different, but the playout has to be such that they all are on the same frame at one point in time. But if a user has to initiate some kind of uh, active session control, for instance, in video cassette recorders, we had typical uh, buttons like play, uh, rewind, forward, known as seek, pausing, or even stopping the uh, multimedia content, say a video, any member can initiate that. Now this actually could involve some kind of um, conflicting situations. In order to resolve, uh, the playback sessions must provide some kind of interaction between the members. Now this playback session to be done collaboratively uh, requires some core services. The first service is group formation and management service. Here, there would be a leader or, a, or an organizer that invites uh, individual users to join the group uh, through invite-based subscription. Then the media streaming uh, is a service which would be required because the actual delivery of the object has to be executed. Then we need to have some kind of user control that is commands to allow the members to control the um, execution of the uh, transmission of the stream. And uh, then some kind of interaction between the users is required, say a basic text
text based uh, messenger through which they all um, develop knowledge and reach at a consensus on whom to give the control of the video stream in cdns the reference architecture could be thought of as a streaming and control server at the top uh, which uses communication services and it's going to be um, unicast uh, it could be multicast or it could be broadcast since we are talking about collaboration it could at least it it has to be at least multicast amongst uh, certain users each user has a client entity known as the collaborative client here you can see on the visual at the left hand side that the control uh, uh, messages are being sent uh, from the uh, collaborative clients and the uh, media is being delivered to the clients in a synchronous manner now these uh, clients uh, would be playing the video by using certain controls so the uh, automaton of the collaborative uh, uh, media service play out service can be thought of as simply the execution of the play functionality um, and then uh, um, pausing it and eventually stopping it so it is as simple as um, a basic automaton while this seems very simple we can think about uh, use cases where smooth uh, collaboration takes place between the um, collaborating clients but sometimes there could be conflict here three different scenarios or sequence diagrams are presented uh, the first one is where it is only one client that initiates uh, a request to uh, modify the playout pausing rewinding forwarding etc then the central server updates the content accordingly and streams it towards the clients in uh, scenario b we see that uh, there is a command from client one which is delivered at the communication server without a problem but as far as the client 2 is concerned the command that it sends is either corrupted or not delivered or uh, probably there is some delay because of that the command 1 is executed and correspondingly the playout is uh, altered um, in the in the in the third situation actually some kind of contention is going to happen because the two commands from two different clients reach at the server exactly at the same time so some kind of some kind of uh, conflict resolution strategy for instance identifier who's got the um, higher identifier or um, uh, what is the precedent uh, in terms of uh, queuing um, or for that matter uh, some privileged or uh, uh, organizer level uh, administrative users could be given preference so uh, using uh, these three possible uh, scenarios uh, or their variants could also be thought of a collaborative media streaming service could be uh, realized and uh, interesting play out can be visualized across the content delivery network uh, the reference again is by rajkumar bhaiya uh, content delivery networks 